First tonight, the babies in the region involved in a special project to speed up the diagnosis of rare diseases. The Rosie Hospital in Cambridge is one of 13 across England which has started analysing the entire genetic code of newborns. It's hoped it will result in more gene disorders being detected much earlier, which can then be treated. But it has also raised some ethical concerns. Emma Ball reports. Mum Jessica and baby Orlando, less than a week old, yet helping to shape the future of medicine. Here's one of 200 babies already taking part here and mum keen to help. I thought I should do something and give something back, but also it's nice to know that I'm going to find out more about um, Orlando's possibilities in the future. Yeah, being armed with the information means that we can prepare for anything that's going to come down the line. As part of the study, blood samples are taken from babies' umbilical cords and sent to labs where the entire genetic code or genome will be sequenced. Faulty genes can cause a number of diseases. Only treatable conditions will be identified. This is huge, huge, huge uh, thing for Cambridge that we are part of this. Uh, it is a, a groundbreaking project which has got a potential of changing the medicine and changing how we um, approach um, medicine, how we approach the diseases uh, by moving more into preventative medicine. Um, so knowing what the predisposition is and or what the condition can um, develop, we can prevent that from happening. One of those who's benefited from earlier research here is Owen, who had a rare thyroid condition identified by gene sequencing. It's been very gratifying, having made this rare diagnosis, to see that he has responded. It's transformed his life by enabling him to grow better. Um, it's given him more energy and it's been a, a great thing for Owen. Most of us have absolutely no idea of the conditions that we might be at risk of. And while this study is very much based on children and treatable diseases, in future years it could give us information to help educators on the link between our genes and our health. But that throws up serious ethical questions which the hospital insists they're addressing. This study also focuses on that uh, and through this study we would like to understand what are the views and attitudes of um, a public, of our population and if actually this study is acceptable for the population, is acceptable for people. It is quite scary to think that I might find out something that um, could be scary for him in the future but I think it's better to know than not to know um, and it's sort of outweighed the negatives on that. It's early days for both Orlando and the genome study, but his family says it's giving them peace of mind. Emma Bohr, BBC Look East.